name's Bill, aka Billy Goat. Today is September 23rd, 2021. And today I'm going to talk about my eighth mower that I bought for the business, and that's the 2017 Craftsman 28 Pro Series. If you've been watching my channel, you also know that I own a 2016 Craftsman 28 Pro Series as well. The reason I wanted to get a second uh, mower like this was the 2016 was such a great mower and I used it um, as my primary push mower in 2016 and when 2017 came around um, I definitely wanted a backup mower uh, for that mower and so I went to Sears and uh, purchased this mower. Um, I believe um, uh, at the time this mower here was retailing for uh, a thousand um, but I think uh, there was a sale uh, going on and I got it for 800 um, it doesn't come with the bagger I had to get the bagger separate and the the baggers $200 at least it was $200 so um, for the mower and the bagger was a thousand dollars surprisingly uh, this mower is uh, five years old and I put less than uh, 200 um, hours on it um, if you look here on the uh, hour meter uh, it's showing 182 original uh, hours uh, I put an hour meter on there when I first bought the mower so I could you know keep track of the uh, you know the maintenance and the oil changes because um, it was a primary uh, the 2016 was the primary and and I used this as, as my backup mower and I ran I ran that 2016 uh, until it really started uh, falling apart uh, especially when the uh, deck uh, started rusting and uh, you know it was just having issues so I ended up uh, making the um, 2016 uh, a parts uh, mower uh, to keep you know to keep this mower running I've always been a big fan of these mowers um, mainly because uh, I did uh, originally own a uh, Toro Time Master when they first came out and um, the problem with with those was they originally had the uh, 190 cc engine on there and uh, you know definitely underpowered and uh, you know the uh, Craftsman Pro Series um, had the uh, 223 cc uh, engines on them, which was uh, you know a big difference um, as far as power. Um, even with this uh, only being a 28 an inch, uh, the deck design um, is uh, definitely uh, phenomenal uh, for this uh, type of mower. As far as I know, uh, Craftsman doesn't uh, make this particular model uh, anymore. Um, the last I checked, uh, Craftsman has a, uh, a model called uh, M410, uh, which looks exactly like this, um, except for it's it has the red uh, color. Um, and the uh, engine's only a 190 cc but as far as i know everything else is is the same grassman also has the uh what they call the m430 uh, version um it's a lot like this uh as well uh the color is red um and I believe the only difference is, is it has uh, the uh, front uh, caster wheels. Um, I'm not a big fan of, of the caster wheels uh, for a push mower. Um, and also, uh, what I don't like about uh, the model they have with the casters is that if you go to adjust the uh, height, you would have to adjust the rear uh, using uh, this lever and then on the front uh, wheel casters you would have to adjust each side so you would have to make three adjustments 
um, just to lower, you know, or, uh, you know, raise the deck. This particular model is great because it uses one lever um, that adjusts, you know, both the front and the rear of the mower. So you can quickly, uh, you know, make your adjustments, uh, you know, depending on what property you're on. If you didn't already know, uh, there's a company called, uh, it's a manufacturer, MTD. Uh, they make mowers for uh, different brands and um, they, you know, they make it for Craftsman. Um, they also make them for uh, Troy Built and uh, Cub Cadet. So if you were, uh, had a Troy Built uh, brand uh, similar to this mower, uh, they have what they call the WC28, which is, uh, you know, pretty much the same machine. Uh, there might be some, some differences. Um, and then they also have the uh, Cub Cadet uh, version, um, which is the uh, CC600, uh, they call it. So they're all, you know, the same uh, mower, uh, just some, some differences. Um, with some of the features, you know, as far as the engine, um, you know, the caster, if it had the caster wheels. Um, and I believe, uh, if you look at my um, uh, other video on my 2016 version, uh, the uh, episode 7, I believe, um, I have the, uh, these uh, mowers are also equipped with a uh, stripe kit so if you want to see that you can uh, check that out on that video overall you know i've been really pleased uh, with this mower um, my only dislike uh, is i'm not a fan of uh, a tube uh, for the, the bagging uh, capability um, and the reason why is uh, when you get into, uh, you know, tall, tall grass or uh, wet grass, um, it will have a tendency to uh, clog on you. And um, that can be uh, a little irritating um, when, you're, when you're trying to bag. For this mower, uh, I prefer to use uh, what they call high lift blades. And with high lift blades, uh, if you notice here, um, high lifts have a, a tail on there, um, which uh, the uh, angle, uh, the more pitch it has, um, you can throw the, the grass clippings uh, further. Um, and when you, you know, definitely when you're running uh, a mower with a tube that goes into the bagger, um, you know, I recommend you, you know, running the high lifts. Uh, versus uh, the mulching blades so um, that's why I never really uh, used uh, mulching blades on this um, because I did you know I do like the bag you know when I need to um, and I also uh, when you discharge um, if you notice uh, the wide opening um, on this one it it'll definitely uh, you know throw grass clippings uh, eight you know eight plus feet away and um, you know you that's one of the reasons uh, I believe why this uh, you know with this deck design uh, that you know the uh, deck rarely uh, clogs I'm sure if you haven't already noticed uh, you're probably wondering uh, what this uh, contraption here is uh, on this mower and um, if you uh, guessed right, it's a uh, electric uh, controlled uh, shoot blocker. And no, it's not a uh, standard feature uh, on this mower. Um, it's a design that uh, I believe that, you know, I came up with. Um, no, I didn't reinvent the wheel or anything like that um, it was an idea um, that I was uh, you know coming up with um, 
over the winter of uh, 2017 uh, going into 2018 I, I needed um, you know with this mower having the high lifts on there and, and able to shoot eight plus feet I, I needed to uh, be able to control the uh, you know the shoot uh, discharge and um, I remember in 20 you know 16 uh, when I had the other mower you know you would put these um, um, shoot um, guards on here and you know it, it it's okay you know but it's not shooting um, it shoot more out instead of up um, and I needed something you know when you get into uh, bigger yards you know you want to be able to shoot you know as far as you can and um, you know it became very irritating you know trying to use bungee cords you know to to open up the flap and you know put this on and off and you know you want it to bag and you know it's just you're just going back and forth and you know I wanted something that you know I could easily uh, open and close um, you know on demand um, you know when I was uh, you know on properties where I needed to watch uh, you know what you know what I was uh, discharging um, you know I didn't want to shoot you know grass into beds and you know up against houses fence you know whatever um, I wanted to be able to um, you know block the shoot um, when I got into those situations and then when I was in open uh, spots you know in the yard you know I could uh, open open the shoot if you follow Randy from countryside uh, you know he's a huge fan of uh, shoot blockers uh, on his mowers and um, I'm the same as well all my mowers uh, even my push mowers um, I use uh, electric uh, shoot blockers um, the only ones I don't use them on is, is my brush mowers but all the other mowers uh, have uh, electric uh, shoot blockers I don't want to get into too much uh, of the uh, parts and the actual uh, design um, on this particular video uh, I'll save that uh, for future videos because um, you'll notice when I get into my other mowers um, you'll see these devices uh, you know mounted on those uh, mowers as well but uh, once I finish this uh, you know series of mowers that that I bought um, I'll get more into detail um, of uh, the operation and design and the parts that I used, uh, you know, to um, install these. But I will give you a little, um, a little sneak peek um, of the operation of, you know, basically how it works uh, at the end of this video. So you, you know, you got an idea of uh, how it operates. So if there's uh, any other questions, um, you know, about the mower itself. Um, you know, just leave them in the uh, comments and uh, I'll answer them if I can. And if it's something a little bit more detailed, I'll uh, definitely, uh, uh, you know, make another video um, on it. I'll make a part two if, if needed. So I'll, um, I'll leave you with that and um, we'll check you out on the next video. Have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,